Another local family is trying to pick up the pieces after COVID-19 claimed their husband and father. Philip Colvin died over the weekend, leaving behind his wife and four sons. Colvin was the vice president of marketing at the Holiday Inn Resort on Panama City Beach and was well known and respected in the local community. As News 13's Anna Hoffman tells us, his family wants to help others avoid the sadness and the loss that they're experiencing now. Those who knew Philip Colvin described him as encouraging, supportive, and loved. To me, he was not only my husband, but my best friend. He was my rock. Andrea and Philip Colvin were married for 22 years. They had four wonderful sons. The whole family was born and raised in Bay County. I'll never be able to pay him back for everything he did for me, but I can't tell you what he meant to me. He's been the, the foundation in my life. He's the one that's seen my child get born. Colvin died from COVID-19 on Saturday, the same day his oldest son was getting married. His wife says he battled the virus for about a month, fighting until he couldn't fight anymore. To tell him at the time I had to leave before he coded goodbye for the last time, that pain is forever in my heart. His son Chandler says his father was selfless. He was the person who was always there for us. He was not just his family, though. He was there for everybody. His son Kalen says he was wise. While he was in the hospital, we talked over FaceTime. And the way he explained it to me was, no matter how angry you get or frustrated or upset, please, you gotta, you have to be strong no matter what. Colvin worked at the Holiday Inn Resort for 26 years and was dedicated to the Bay County community. His wife says even in his final days, his selflessness showed and he has a message to pass along. He was so worried about everybody else and knowing that the vaccine may not prevent somebody from getting sick, but it would drastically reduce their symptoms. Colvin was 46 years old. He's been the sole provider for his family since Andrea lost her job as a nurse during the pandemic. We created a GoFundMe account for her to help with funeral expenses and living costs. For more information on that GoFundMe account and funeral arrangements, go to our website, mypanhandle.com. In Bay County, Anna Hoffman, News 13, Panhandle Strong.